Why would you utilize them? When should they be used? Where to get Unix styles ideas and how to use them in your prompt so that the Mid Journey AI can now put exactly what you want. Now, click the forward slash, imagine, then go ahead to write a description of what you want. After which, you can specify details like the mood and color. Even mentioning a few of your favorite living or past artists will inspire Mid Journey AI outputs to adopt that particular aesthetic direction. The section where you add a keyword at the end of the prompt to add styles is, therefore, the most crucial. For instance, after typing a comma, you would enter the style's keywords using Elon Musk's portrait. Therefore, if you want a certain inaccuracy, we would say the 1920s, or we might say it's dark or photorealistic. Ready to dive deeper? Let's move then. For example, this would be dash dash. And since we want it vertical, we could use an aspect ratio of 4 by 3. However, what you need to remember is a comma followed by spaces, and then at the very end, that's where you put in your parameters. The Mid Journey AI went ahead and produced exactly what we were looking for with this prompt. As you can see in some of the results, you can stylize it to your liking as well. Now, we want to highlight Mid Library by Andre Kovalev. We want to highlight this repository because it is extremely beneficial for stimulating the mind when it comes to common features. A variety of styles by categories, names of specific artists, movements, techniques, titles and by all the genres you can think of. The wonderful thing about this is that there are so many different categories. For instance, I love architecture and I can see Shigeru Ben right there. So I just typed in a request for an architectural structure with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio of the moon without mentioning a particular style. Still want to learn more? If yes, please stay till the end to discover and learn new secret prompts. So. Let's wait and see what Mid Journey produces before we go ahead and add some style tags to see if we can create anything that will resemble Shigeru Ben's architecture on the moon. This is what Mid Journey created and it's rather fantastic and futuristic looking. Yes, we want the same prompt, but we want to style it a little bit so that it can be exactly what we need. Then we're going to add some styling tags, so we're going to say Shigeru Ben and we're also going to add photorealistic. We're going to type in forward slash and imagine space. And then we're going to put in an architectural structure on the moon. After that, look at these outcomes right here. It's rather interesting how they went ahead and made it in a way that partially resembles Shigeru Ben's aesthetic. By the way, one of the reasons we adore Shigeru Ben's artwork is because it can make you start thinking of incredibly stunning 3D printed jewelry. Now, if you have an AI idea but having trouble coming up with the ideal prompt to explain it, we'll choose the best prompt for you if you leave a comment below, and we'll reveal the results in our next video. But before we move further, if you are getting value, please subscribe and like this video because it will really help us grow. Also, be sure you have turned on the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. Now, as we continue. When it comes to extremely detailed photographs, such as architectural design, we generally want to share with you a really beneficial trick. To do this, we will show you that base quality is what we're using when we go to the forward slash settings. On the other hand, if we choose high quality, we'll actually see a little bit more detail. To highlight the specifics, we are actually going to copy this prompt right here, navigate to slash forward imagine, hype the prompt again and watch what occurs. By the way, version 5.1 of Mid Journey AI's maximum quality can be achieved by using parameter dash dash Q, then the number 2. Stay till the end to discover and learn new secret prompts. Look at this, you can tell that we are actually seeing a lot more detail at the highest level. This looks fantastic even though. As a result, let's attempt to upscale the original and also the second version. It's just stunning, look at the detail on this thing. This is so amazing. Let's have a look at how they turned out. If this is an inspiring artist to go ahead and get their creative juices flowing, we don't know how long we'll be able to use a lot of these things like actual people's work styles. And we are sure there will be tremendous amount of lawsuits coming. 
So we might as well play with this while we can before the laws are set in place and companies like Midjourney and others that are working on this RAI like Stable Diffusion and others. We might as well enjoy them to the fullest because the outcomes of these lawsuits will dictate law and I believe copyright infringement, design patents and a lot of that stuff will come into play. Laws will be rewritten and who knows if we'll have the freedom to use these RAI tools as we do now. Furthermore, Midjourney has been trained to regenerate images that prefer aesthetic color, composition and forms, particularly those described in the prompt and dash dash stylize or dash dash parameter determines how aggressively this training is carried out. Low stylization values result in photos that closely fit the prompt but are less artistic, whereas high stylization values result in images that are very creative but are less tied to the prompt. This actually startled everyone. It claims the default value is 100, despite the fact that the range is from 0 to 1000. As you can see here, the stylized range in version 5 is 0 to 1000, as is the styled default in version 4. Which makes sense because Midjourney AI is more concerned with getting the output grid images closer to your preference to whatever you're putting in the prompt rather than having it to be a mixed bag to go wild and produce something very artistic but possibly not what you're looking for which could potentially turn the user away. So, we experimented with the dash parameter and for the majority of the prompts that we searched, we actually leave it at a default 100 because it feels like a good balance between giving us that artistic flavor, something we weren't expecting and producing something that reflects the prompts that we asked it to produce. That's it for this video. We believe you have learned some perfect prompts you can apply in mid-journey. Like we early said in the course of this video, if you have an AI idea but you can't find your perfect prompt to realize it, leave a comment and we find perfect prompt for you and share the result in our next video. AI Stable Diffusion is also a tutorial channel to help you in this new artificial way to work, to stay connected with your natural intelligence and use it to scale up yourself. The engineering that processes machine learning needs to start from natural learning data. For this reason, AI Stable Diffusion will radically change our approach to natural intelligence. This channel will teach you how to enhance your natural learning and put it at the service of automatic learning to gain an ethical and professional advantage. Welcome to AI Stable Diffusion. If you haven't gotten value, please subscribe and like this video because it will really help us grow. Also, be sure you have turned on the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.